Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have got Georgia in. I've already prepped Georgia's nails and sculpted a base. Yes, I sculpted, cannot believe it. Loving sculpting at the minute. And now I'm going in and creating a ombre marble nail. Um, so the colours that I'm using, the pink is the Glam and Glitz ice cream pop. And then the purple is the Glitterati Nails Neon Pigments. Um, and all I've done for the purple is just add a little bit of the pigment to a white acrylic. Uh, mixed it up really, really well. And just so it wasn't as neon. And I'm just picking up really wet beads of those acrylics. Applying them to the nail and then using the tip of my brush to marble those into one another. The brush that I'm using is of course the Liz Guild brush from CJP. I have seen today that they have released a new brush, which I think is called Queenie. Um, I think it's a size 16 and I really want to get it. So I need to go and have a look at that today. It's probably sold out now. Here I'm just adding a little bit of white just for a bit of contrast. Then I'm going to go in with this nude colour that I made myself. So it's a glittery nude colour. Um, the acrylic pinky colour itself is the Neo Nails Shell Pink and then I've just added some really fine iridescent glitter just to jazz it up a little bit. So once I was happy with that, I'm going in now with some of the um, flakes from Glitterati Nails. I can't remember what these are called, so I will leave them in the description box below. Um, but they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm just applying those just randomly on the nail. And then I'll let this one set before I go in and encapsulate because I don't want to move any of that glitter or marble around. So I will just leave this one to set and move on to the next nail. On this one, we're going to be using the um, pink glittery colour that I made. As I said, it's just the Neo Nail Shell Pink with some iridescent glitter. And on this nail, we're also going to be adding some butterflies the butterflies Georgia got herself she brought them with her I think she got them off eBay um I'll try and get hold of her but she is has gone on holiday today but I will try and find them or try and get hold of her to see if she has a link for those and I'm also going to be using um a glitter on this nail as well um this glitter I've no idea where it's came from um it doesn't have a label on it or anything so I really don't know where it's come from. <laughs> I will try and figure it out, but at the minute I'm not much help because literally I don't think I've ever used it. I don't know where it's come from. But it's like a silvery white glitter and I'm just picking some of that up with um, a small bit of clear acrylic and then placing that randomly on the nail. And then for the butterflies, I'll apply those to the wet acrylic. If you need to apply any more acrylic to help hold the butterflies in place, you can do that as well.
Again on this finger we're going to go in and do a ombre marble nail so I'm doing exactly the same as I did on the pinky picking up those wet beads of acrylic this time just add in a little bit more white and also some of the nude colour that we made and using the tip of my brush just to marble those into one another And again here I'm just going in with some of that glitter that we used um, on the ring finger and just applying that with some wet acrylic randomly over the nail just to add a bit of sparkle. Then we're going to go in and add some more butterflies as well. On the index finger we decided to do a full marble nail so taking my first two beads of the coloured acrylics so I've picked up the bead of pink and then I've also picked up a small amount of the purple at the same time place that at the cuticle area just to make sure that that is nice and clean then I'm going to go in and apply my wet beads of acrylic and again using the tip of my brush to marble those into one another Now I'm just going in with the Glitterati Flakes again, using some wet acrylic. I will find out what these are called and leave them in the description box, so make sure you check that out. And again, just randomly placing that on the nail. And then going in with some of those butterflies again. So just going back here, I'm just going in with that, oh, I don't know what happened there, with the um, nail bed colour that we made and just ombre in that in to the design. So on the thumb, we decided to do um, a marble nail, but at an angle, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm going in with my 
two colours at the cuticle area again, just to make sure that that's nice and clean. Not worried about that glitter because we're adding glitter to it anyway. And then this time we're going to be doing the marble coming up towards the free edge from the cuticle area, area? cuticle area, but in a diagonal. Um, and then we're going to be adding some glitter and some butterflies. I think this one was my favourite nail. I really, really like this nail. Now I'm going to go in with the glitters that we've used previously, um, just picking them up with a small bead of acrylic and I'm just placing that where the coloured acrylic, the marble ends and then we're also going to go in with some butterflies but we're going to keep a section of it clear. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in with butterflies and then I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate all of the nails using clear acrylic. So as I said, we're now going to go in and encapsulate all of the nails. I've sped this part up just because if I didn't, it was going to be a really, really long video and I didn't want it to be too boring for you guys. So I'm going to go in, encapsulate all the nails, let them fully set. Then once they are set, I go in and file the nails. So I use, because um, they were quite bulky, I did go over the surface of the nail and around the cuticle area using my e-file with my sanding bit on it just to remove some of the bulk and just to get closer to the cuticle. Then I go in with a 100 grit nail file and file over the surface of the nail again and also the cuticle area, the side walls and the free edge to give it a nice shape. Then once I was happy with the shape, I then went in with a buffing block, buffed over to remove any scratches. And then I do wipe over them as well with a small amount of acetone and all that does is just melts the top layer and makes it a bit smoother.
Now is my favourite part. We're going to go in and top coat these nails. I'm using the Nail Lounge Collection No Wipe Top Coat. This is one of my new favourites. If you haven't checked them out, they're over on Instagram. I'll leave their link in the description box. This top coat is super shiny. It's really, really nice. I really like this top coat. I think I said that in my last video as well, but I do really recommend this top coat. Um, apply that to all of the nails and then we're going to cure that in my LED lamp for one minute. If you're using a UV lamp, you need to do two minutes. Then I will let them cool for a minute before applying top coat. No, before applying cuticle oil to stop them from going dull. And then that is the finished look. So I was really, really chuffed with these. I don't usually sculpt, but for some reason, I've really got into sculpting and I'm super happy about it because I do find that with sculpting, you do get a better shape and obviously they're a custom fit to the client's natural nail. Um, so yeah, I will be sculpting from now on. No more tips, I don't think. With this one, I also put some of the top coat underneath the nail because obviously it is a clear nail. And that just makes it even clearer. But this is the finished result. Super happy with them. Really pretty, really girly, ready for Georgia's holiday. So thank you all so, so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.